Officials here telling me that they had to move more than 90 patients from this facility to other facilities as they wait for their air conditioning to come back online. St. Luke's Behavioral Health Center has a 127 bed facility off Van Buren. We've learned that all patients were sent to other facilities at the end of last week as they had mechanical issues with the chillers that helps power their HVAC system. In a statement, Stewart Health sharing photos of the chillers, saying a new chiller arrived this weekend and is currently working on cooling the facility. Patients have yet to return, but employees are still on site as we're told there are cooling measures in place. It is definitely a public health crisis. This week, the nation's top health leader in Phoenix addressing extreme heat and the calls for it to be recognized as a weather-related disaster under the Stafford Act. So we all have to look at that. Congress will uh, mostly have to look at this to make sure the statutes address today's reality when it comes to extreme heat. But we want to be partners with Congress and certainly with states as we examine what the Stafford Act, Act should do and can do. There are also calls for Congress to look at the Federal Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP. The program provides funding to help lower income families heat or cool their homes, but the funding has long favored more money to colder states in the winter than states like Arizona in the summer. We're going to work with Congress and with states to ensure that the LIHEAP program addresses the needs of people who suffer the consequences of these energy or excuse me em environmental and climate uh, reactions that we're seeing today. Meanwhile, this week, workers impacted by extreme heat will call for more action to protect workers. As part of what's called Heat Week, workers from airports, fast food, farm workers, and more from 10 plus cities will call for more breaks, access to shade, and air conditioning. Reporting in Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.